what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B and I'm so excited to be back here today. We're talking about something super fun as the holidays are approaching. Um, you know, you're looking for gifts. And so today I have a quilting holiday gift guide. So either this is something for you to give your loved ones and say, hey, there's some really great ideas in here. Or if you're looking to purchase something for yourself or quilting friend. Um, I've got some just basic uh, needs and fun things. And so let's hop right into it. I'm going to be looking down at my iPad. Uh, hopefully I will share links in the description box um, for things. There might be one or two things I don't have a link for, uh, but I can explain that if, if uh, I don't as we go. All right, let's dive right in. I'm so excited. The holiday season is my favorite. I am a gift giver by heart. I love gift giving so much. I love shopping for gifts for that special person. I love making gifts, all the things. So let's hop right in. This speaks to my heart. I've got a couple of different categories here. So let's dive right in with tools, shall we? So let me move some things out of the way. The very first tool, especially if you are purchasing for a brand new quilter, kind of wants to get into the um, quilting hobby, Alpha has a amazing bundle. So they have a starter bundle that comes with three different things. I'm gonna try and not shake the camera here. So it is going to come with this size of cutting mat. This is a 18 by 12, an 18 by 12 cutting mat. It's perfect for beginners. And I love this one specifically because it has all of your degree lines on it. So if you're cutting something um, that you need a 45 degree angle or something, um, it's got 30, 60 and 45, which is fantastic. Um, and then of course it has the grid lines. I have found Alpha to be the most reliable when um, you're going off of the grid lines. And so this is a great little set. Comes with this uh, cutting mat. Then you have a ruler, a frosted ruler that is um, six by 12. I use this every single time I quilt. I love it so much. It's the perfect size. And then you get a 45 millimeter um, splash rotary cutter with it as well. So this is a darling little set. I'm going to link it in the description box. It's going to be called the Alpha Starter Set. It is such a wonderful little bundle. Alpha sent this to me a couple of years ago. I have gifted one to a brand new quilter and it's just such a great little set to get you started. So rotary blade. Let's say the quilter in your life already has rotary cutters. You can never have too many blades. So Alpha, I promise this is not sponsored by Alpha. I just really love their products. Alpha has what they call an endurance blade. This blade lasts twice as long as a normal rotary cutter blade. So this is an endurance blade. You'll want to get the size 45 millimeter. That's a pretty standard size. And, um, it's so wonderful. It uh, cuts through many more layers. I've cut between six and eight layers before without any um, snags or problems at all. So this is a great little stocking stuffer to include in there. You could also pick them up a new rotary uh, cutter itself. All the cells, all of these things individually as well as bundles. So that's a great one. Let's keep talking about tools. The next thing I have is... Um, something that I received in a subscription box and I didn't know I need them, needed them until I've used them in my office so much. So I actually have a paper pair and a fabric pair. This is my fabric pair. These are Tim Holtz scissors. And you're thinking, okay, what is special about these scissors? Not only do they have the serrated edge, super, super fine point there. They're extremely sharp. These are comfort grip scissors. And what I mean by that is that trying to get it. Here we go. Um, these sides squeeze in. So let me show you. So they are super, super comfortable to the hand. My um, fingers fit nicely in there. And like I said, they are extremely sharp with that point there. These are a great pair of scissors, a little bit on the pricier end. And so that's what makes a, a great gift is this is definitely something a quilter is going to look at and say, mm, do I really need to buy you know, a 30 or $50 pair of scissors. So these are the Tim Holtz. They're wonderful. I keep a pair in my planner stuff that's a, a little bit smaller than that. And then I have that pair for fabric. 
Um, the last kind of tool item that I have for you are wonder clips. So I, in my personal opinion, a quilter cannot have too many wonder clips. So even if they have these already, it's great just to pick up a package for their stocking. So these are tiny little clips. They are designed, actually, I don't know if you know this, but they are designed to be a quarter of an inch. So these help with processes like binding or, um, holding multiple layers together. They're kind of like an alligator clip without the serrated edge. And so these are fantastic. They're super tiny and little and just great to help in the quilting process. So pick some of those up. A quilter can literally never have too many of those. Okay, let's go into, this is gonna be a short, real quick little video here. Let's go into the ironing side of quilting. So I've got a couple of options for you right now. First is, let me grab it off the side here, this tiny little Oliso iron. So this is a handheld little Oliso iron, fits great in the palm of your hand, and it has this great point here, which when you are doing small piecing, this is a great tool to have sitting next to your sewing machine. They, um, it does have a steam option. You can add water into it and it has a spritz option as well. So it's a great little iron just to have right next to the sewing machine as uh, that person is piecing and piecing and piecing and just needs a quick little press uh, before they add the next piece on. Especially uh, foundation paper piecing, I find that iron to be so incredibly helpful. The next thing in the ironing category is really inexpensive. It is these spray mister bottles. So it's not just a spray bottle. You actually pump this multiple times and it kind of gives you a mist of spray coming out. So this is lovely. They can add, you can add just water into it or you can do a mixture of starch and water. Um, whatever you need to do in your, in your normal quilting, this is a great little bottle for that. They have clear ones just like this. I just gifted um, a couple of these and, um, but they also have decorative ones as well that say fun things or have pictures on them. So it's a great little treat in the sewing room. The last thing I have for you in the ironing category is a Packa pressing mat. Now this is mine. It is extremely well loved because I use this all the time. I have three of them. I love them so very much. This is uh, made by Sue at What A View Farm. Her and her alpacas are just so sweet. They are an alp uh, alpaca rescue. And she makes this these pressing mats. She can make them in custom sizes. This size is the 15 by 15. This is great, it fits on my desk perfectly. So the difference between this and a wool pressing mat, I have had no smell whatsoever with the Packa pressing mat. I do not find it uh, there to be a stench to it or anything. Sometimes in the wool pressing mats, um, you can get kind of a wool smell. With these, I don't have that issue at all. Um, I find it very user-friendly and you can use water on these. It's not suggested that you use water on the wool pressing mats, but you can use water on these. And I find that my seams are super crisp and lovely. So I will link this down below. Sue is such a lovely lady to work with. She sends me notes from the alpacas and it's absolutely so incredibly sweet. So this is a great thing to put on your list. She can do custom sizes or she can, uh, she has pre-made sizes that you can grab for yourself. All right, let's talk about fabric next. Now, fabric can be tricky to buy for a quilter, right? So, because, you know, you have to pick out the fabric and what kind of fabric do they like? And do they like, you know, the more batik or primitive or color option? And so, a uh, bright color option. And so, what I would suggest is maybe kind of looking at the quilts on their walls, quilts that they've gifted, quilts on their Instagram. Kind of take a feel of what style they have if you don't know even still then, that's okay. You can buy a pattern, you can buy it online, you can go to a local quilt store, which is the preferred method to support small business. Um, you can grab a pattern and a gift card. So we have a local quilt store here called Always in Stitches. I can go grab a pattern, grab an Always in Stitches gift card, and just kind of hand that to them as a lovely little gift. Then they can pick out their own fabric. Now let's say you're adventurous and you wanna buy the fabric to go with a quilt. So on the back, quilt patterns are gonna list 
the size options and then how much fabric you would need to make that size option. This is from a company called Lo and Behold Stitchery. They are online. She is lovely. Her and her husband have a lovely uh, quilting business and she makes the most beautiful patterns. She is fantastic um, at listing out exactly what you need and the color options that she has chose. You just kind of pick colors that, uh, that coordinate together. So if you're adventurous and you're feeling like confident in your sewing um, or your fabric picking abilities, then absolutely grab the fabric according to the back of a pattern, grab the pattern and gift that to them. That's a fantastic little gift. Fabric itself. Now, if you're just like, absolutely not, I cannot figure out what kind of style they like. I do not know um, anything, the first thing about fabric at all. Grab pre-cut fabric. So this is something, this is called a jelly roll. I picked this up at Always and Stitches. And this is uh, by Moda. This one's called Kitty Corn. But you can see there's lots and lots of different colors in here. So there are a lot of options that a quilter can use pre-cut fabrics for. This can be used for a jelly roll race. It can be used for a railroad quilt. It can be used for anything that two and a half strips are used for, or they can cut it down into different sizes. So this is fantastic just to grab a pre-cut bundle. There's jelly rolls. There are uh, layer cakes. There are um, fat quarter bundles, which is just a great representation of a line of fabric cut into uh, fat quarters. There are, um, I know I'm missing so many and you guys are probably yelling, yelling at the screen, uh, charm packs. There are so many different pre-cut options that you can purchase. I will list a couple of different uh, online options if you don't have a local quilt store and you're looking for somewhere to buy. I'll list a couple of options in the description box. All right, kind of transitioning away from fabric into patterns. How about a quilt kit? So um, Riley Blake does a fantastic job of quilt kits. I picked this one up. This is the Teresa Kogut for the love of nature. Everything I need for this comes in this box except for backing. So um, I will need to purchase backing when I have the quilt top already done and arranged. So everything to make this quilt top is in this box. This is phenomenal. So you can purchase quilt kits already pre-done, pre-ready to go on um, at most quilt stores or online purchases. You can purchase these and there's your gift right there. And it comes in a lovely reusable box. It is a wonderful idea for a quilter in your life. All right, so I already told you about the pattern and how you can gift that. Um, again, shop for several patterns, maybe gift a little bundle. Or there are books. So this is called the Block Magazine. This is from Missouri Star Quilt Company. But there are so many quilting magazines and quilting books. This is a subscription that you can buy. You can pay all at once for an entire year or you can pay month to month. And, and then that um, they come out, I believe, every quarter. And so um, these are lovely because they're chock full of different quilt designs, stories, um, and just everything that um, you just want to cuddle up with a book and kind of look through. I am telling you, even if the quilter doesn't make anything from this book, it's lovely just to have them and just to flip through and read different um, accounts and stories and testimonials and things like that of why this quilt was designed this way or, um, you know, the special memory uh, that is tied to this quilt or that quilt. So this is Black Magazine, but like I said, you can find several different uh, quilting magazines or quilting books that would make a great gift to a quilter. All right, so I don't want to overwhelm you, so that's all I have for the quilting uh, gift guide this year, but there are so many great options. If you guys think of other options that either you as a quilter would love to have or that you might help a fellow family member out, list those in the comments below. And um, I love to like scroll through and see other people's ideas for a holiday gift guide as well. Thank you so much for joining us on The Hive. Check all the links in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I would love to continue the conversation. Have a great day.